Real hot take. Yes or no? Is love blind? No. No. A harsh truth in dating is people who don't listen end up with people who they don't want. Oof. I listen. Oof. I just don't think a lot of those people listen on the show. Now, it was one very successful couple. I feel like they listen to each other all day. This is going to sound a little toxic, but they were so good, I fast forwarded their parts. <laughs> it was so boring. It was so boring. But Duke said that monogamy is monotonous. Hey. It is. No. This show is for entertainment, and y'all not giving yeah. it to me. I'm Simeon Pando. Hey, I'm Melvin Gregg. This is another episode of Nice and Me. I'm Duke. I'm Omar. I'm Jalan. Yo, yo, what's the deal, y'all? I hope all is well. Welcome back to another oh, episode. Man. I'm Duke. I'm Omar. I'm Jalan, and this is another episode of the number one podcast in all of Los Angeles, man, with your number one guys. Nice and neat. What's going on, y'all? What's, What's up, bro? What's man, up? What's up? hey, hey, we had an incredible laugh off camera. It's just being brothers, being brothers. Oh, and, man. And uh, that, that was a good laugh. That's one of those... Y'all can't even get if y'all subscribe to Patreon, man. man. It's just you just had to be here. Just had to be here. Yeah. Um. We are. I think we are beyond this. Not. I think we are beyond this. But I think this is a good conversation to have coming off of the hills of, uh, probably probably the hottest show and maybe the last year almost. Uh, Love is blind mm. season six. Season six, we were able to create a topic off of this episode um, straight into it. Some of the harsh truths around dating, some of the reasons why these people even went on this show is because they were having uh, dating troubles and experiencing turmoil within their dating lives. And thinking about the harsh truths of dating, one of the things that I have always adopted when it came to dating was... Man, you guys aren't official until you guys are official. Mm -hmm. So you can't really expect anybody to do anything or have any movement or kind of even yield their actions until you lock them down. And I think that's one of those ones that people have a hard time to comprehend because I feel like when you dating, you dating. You dating. Mm -hmm. It's a, it, I, when I hear dating, Is I hear a competition? active. Oh, it's not a competition. I, it's not like I think it's a competition. It is a competition. So you dating multiple people. That's what I'm. That's what that's I'm what always. Assuming. That's what you consider dating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I consider dating. Uh -huh. You know, I'm gonna always assume that if you're dating and you know we hanging out a few times, like let's say we're not to a point where we talking every single day. Mm -hmm. Who's feeling that time? Somebody else got to be feeling that time. That's, a, that's a hard. Silly. That's a hard truth. That's a hard truth. That's a hard you know? truth. You're not the only one. You're not the only one. Is a hard truth. That's a very. That's a of fact. dating. Wow. You are not the only one. You got to accept that one. You got to ride that. You got to accept that yeah. one. And that's that's okay. And that's okay. It's actually, I don't think it's that hard to do it. I think when you're dating, at least as a man, I don't think it's that hard to do it. We say that, right? But I feel like we know of multiple situations where it's not hard to deal with, but for some guys, it's been hard, or maybe some women, it's hard once you see it. Right, when you so, see it, so like it's one thing to be like, yo, I know this person is dating other people, uh -huh. but like when I walk into Katana and I see you and I see Shorty on a date with Shorty that I was hanging out with two nights ago on another date, yeah, it may hit a little different. Who you with when you walk in? Well, let's say I'm by myself, uh -huh. right? Let's say I'm by myself. It may it may hit a little different. Mm -hmm. It it, may, it 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 could possibly bother you because people, I feel like people say. I agree to things and think and and think things are okay until they actually see them with their own eyes. Mm -hmm. Once you see things, it makes things a little bit different, mm -hmm. difficult. But that is like a real hard truth about dating. That's a, that's a great number one. Yeah, it's a hard uh, truth. That's a hard truth. But I feel like in my experience, man, I've always known that. I've always known that, yo. And that's it's not something that's you've occupied. always been smooth though. But still, like I've, it's not something that's occupied my mind though. But I've always known it. And I've actually, but we've been in situations where, oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, and it's funny. Oh, yeah. It's not serious at all. It's actually funny to us, to us, to us. Well, and and it's, it's because like, and we playing fair. Yeah, that's why. That's why. That's why. That's why it's funny because we playing fair. It's like, yo, I'm doing it too. Yep. So, 
if you playing fair, it shouldn't be hard. Mm. Because if you if you dating other people, if I'm dating other people, I already expect you to be dating other people. You know what I mean? I would never like expect you to just play by your rules or me play by my rules and you not do the same. I wouldn't do that. So that's a hard truth. In that situation, particular situation, let's just stay here for a second. In that, <laughs> in that particular situation, right, what is the protocol for the person that sees the person on a date? Don't say nothing. Until when? <laughs> Did we talk about this before? <laughs> is, it, is it don't say nothing at all? Uh, is it don't say nothing for the rest of the night? Yeah, I wouldn't say anything. At all? Right? If, if we make eye contact, I'd be like, say something. But like, you know, I'll see you. What's up, girl? But nothing like... I'm not gonna say hi. Go up to you and say hi. Or no, no, I'm not no, saying no, no, no. saying that to the guy. Nothing like that. You know, I ain't gonna do nothing like that. Question: Are you by yourself? Or are you with somebody too? If I'm by my, if I'm with somebody too, it's definitely nothing. It's dead. It's nothing. It's dead if I'm with somebody too. But if I'm by myself, then you know, it's still just okay. That's that's her thing right now. Mm-hmm. That's her thing right now because I made it clear that I'm fair, right? But I may play a little. I may play around a little bit. Send a text later. It's in the eyes. It's in the eyes. Like, oh, I see, I see you. Because <laughs> <laughs> we, we got that type of relationship. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like it's fun. You create, you create that, that, fun yeah, it, space, that, that fun space. That's yeah, yeah. It kind of it kind of diffuses the situation. Hey, no, no pressure. Yeah. You, you don't got to apologize. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, let's anything. not make it awkward. How I look at it, too, is like, if I haven't went to the, the lengths to... Say hey, let's really just sit here and be exclusive. I don't have any jurisdiction over absolutely nothing. The way that you move in, absolutely yeah. at all. I don't mm-hmm. have any movement. I don't got. I don't got. I can't get no traction on that. Yep. So yeah, that that's one. I've always honored that rule. And when it came to when it came to dating, especially dating as an adult, mm-hmm. I feel like when you're dating as an adult, you know, you gotta kind of. Okay, what do I like here? What do I like here? Unless you guys made it clear to one another, assume, assume that they're dating. Yeah. It, it's funny thinking about love is blind. Like, technically, all those people were dating each Same other. swag, bro. Yeah. Technically, we're all, it's 10 people dating 10 people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right? You're, yeah. I, and they it, it, can, it, it can, this is every day, right? You're like, I don't, I don't want to go on no more dates with yeah. that person. That's really what, that's kind of how it is. Yeah. It's a great experiment. It's a great experiment that they do it. I'm, I, you know what? I, early on, I was a super big fan of the show. You a little skeptical now? I'm a little skeptical now. I'm a little skeptical because I feel like people have their own personal, outside of love, interest in 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 going onto the show. Everybody so, got their own agenda. You know, yeah. People want to get more whatever. Which you, I honestly, I don't think there's anything wrong with. I think they're taking advantage of the system, the show. But I mean, if you're trying to get on, you're trying to get on. See, and, and I and I get that. And I, I feel like that's what takes away from this. Is gonna sound funny, the integrity of the show. Yeah, like, that's what no, that's takes right, away though. from it. I mean, even going back, I I went back. You know, sometime when you go to your Netflix and then you click the show, and you're just clicking too fast, it'll actually take you back to season one, season episode one, one yeah. mm-hmm. right? So I did that, and by the time I looked up, it was on, and I just started watching. The show shot different. The level of candid shots that they had is totally different from season one and this season. Season one in America? Season one was in America. Yeah. They have Love is Blind in other countries as mm-hmm. well, but... Well, all, all of Love is Blind is here. All of, yeah. all, all of this particular Love is Blind yeah. is yeah. in America. And, you know, in season one, they showing you getting their drinks and drinking, and it adds context to, oh, this is why they so loose. Oh, they they were talking for this amount of time. This is why this was going on. I felt like you got you were more in there than this. This is now it's a show. Mm-hmm. It's a show. So you have to assume that they drinking every time you see the gold cups. You don't see them pouring nothing in there. You just no, see I, the gold cup. Oh, okay. One thousand percent. They drinking right, but it's different when you see somebody grab the 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 little airplane bottle of liquor, pour it in their cup. And then they drinking and they talking and they laughing. You can add a little bit more context to, oh, okay, this is this is what it is. Okay, they chose each other. They chose each other off of the back of them. That was just lit having so a good time. Now you feel like it's scripted right now. It's too scripted. It's a little, it's a, it feels that way. Uh, mm-hmm. It feels okay. that way. The cuts feel that way. I got you. It wasn't as just, let's just put, let's turn the cameras on. See what happens. Yeah. 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 It, it, it feels a little, a little, uh, yeah. um, done up. Yeah. So know? what's another hard truth? 
Mm. Of dating. Of dating. You, you could fall for someone who's not falling for you. Mm. That's Ooh. a hard truth. That is a harsh truth. You could be yeah. in a situation where you guys are dating and you 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 feel like it's going one way, but it's I mean she not she's not feeling or he's not feeling the same way. It's not reciprocated, uh, or at least it's not reciprocated at the same speed or at the same time. Uh, it's like yeah yeah I'm feeling you, and I feel like we saw a lot of that. You saw a lot of that on Love Is Blind. It's yeah. like yeah, especially towards the end of the show. It's like yeah I'm I'm here and I'm feeling you, but it's like I'm is, not I'm not all the way in. Is it very common when people are dating for? You to like someone more than they like you. Yeah, I think that's it's. There's always going to be one of those in, in each relationship. Mm. You know, I think you do. I've never been there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but for real. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I nah. think I think that's natural. That's natural. Now you do have situations where both of us, we both fall hard. Yeah, we both fall hard. You know what I mean. And those those situations are far and few in between. But yeah. those are great. Those are great. Those are great. Those are great. But I don't think those are the most common situations that typically happen. Nah. Typically, I would either say the man is either falling harder for the girl, or vice versa. Mm. That could be from me being someone being more or less vulnerable. You know what I mean. Mm. More forthcoming with information. Mm. You know what I mean. Or just more open in general. Mm. Uh, but I I think that that is like a harsh truth that people will find out very quickly. It's like mm. yo, this person. I'm into this person way more than they're into me, or vice versa, mm-hmm. and that shit hurts sometimes because yeah. you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm investing this time. Yeah, I, I, so that reminds me, man. I actually don't think that men should stay in relationships. I don't think I think men should be really skeptical about relationships where women have to figure out how to like them. You said men should be skeptical about yeah, situations. Yeah, like I want to go into a relationship where you liking me. I don't want you to have oh. to learn how to like me. I don't want you to have to figure like, yo, I, just, I didn't like him at first, but I settled into liking him. I don't like that. Yeah. Because I feel like that's just something that's like you feeling like you settling for me now. Mm-hmm. I feel like, I feel like that's what happened with Clay and AD. Who settled for who? I feel like Clay settled for AD. Mm. He wasn't really interested in nobody else. Check this out. With- so to your point of what you were saying of, I don't want somebody to have to figure out how to like me. Just listening to my man's words, whenever he would speak, it was around the way that she made him feel. Oh, man, you know what? I just love how she supports me. I love how she allows me to be me. Mm -hmm. And it was never, man, I really, I love the way that she walks into the room. It it does. It was never, ever about her. It was real selfish. Every single time. It was real selfish. Every single time. You know, and that right there, to me, is a recipe for somebody who's creating the space. They're trying to prove to themselves that like, they cool, they cool, they cool. I could, I can do this. Uh-huh. I don't want to ever be with somebody who feel like I can do this. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, nah. And that's what I heard from him saying every single time. Matter of fact, for the first four episodes, he called her baby and didn't say her name. Mm-hmm. These are things that Unfortunately, I feel like a confident woman hears, pays attention to, and feels. Um, she gave us the background on what her history of men already is. You know, men just use me for my body. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'm never enough for most men. You know, I always choose the player kind of guy and not the good guy. And, you know, we always just talk about like who you are kind of like leaves clues. And I felt like this was an opportunity for her to step out of her comfort zone and go into a different, a different, a different direction. Yeah, and she had the opportunity. To she do did, it as but well. once she heard, once she heard what kind of music the other dude liked, it gave her indication of um, what his his uh, ethnicity ethnicity was, and that kind of steered her off. And I feel like if it wasn't, maybe she wouldn't have been attracted to him. But I feel like maybe she would have possibly given him a chance if she may have seen him. I feel like hearing the voice, she went, she leaned into something that was comfortable to her in that moment. That's what we all do when we make mistakes. Facts. Facts. We usually lean into the comfort. That's why we make the same mistake. Yeah. Now, she, you're right, though. She did have the opportunity. But let's be real. Do you, okay, honestly, if she made that decision, right, mm-hmm. do you think that... 
her situation ends up differently at the end of the show. Um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna base her decision off of ending up differently. That's particular that particular one. But I think she now begins to build her her own confidence back up because what the decision that she did make just validated more of the reason why she went on the show, the lack that she already feels within herself, um, her lack of appreciation as a woman, um, her lack of appreciation as a partner, and it validated all of those things. Nothing positive came from that. But this person, who the other person who she was talking to, and she said, like, I, I either go for the player guy when I have a nice guy right in front of me. And it literally played out exactly like that. My man is nice. He is he is appealing to all the things that she says that she wants out of a man. And she's just like, ah, you know what? Nah. Nah. He said nah. Mm-hmm. Nah. Nah. So, you know, then she go, you know, she went with, you know, she went with Clay. Can you love somebody without seeing them? Can you love someone without seeing them? Yes. Oof. You're asking, can you fall in love with someone? Sure. Can you fall in love yes, with someone without seeing them? Can you fall in love with someone without seeing them? I don't them? think so. I don't think so. Okay. Now, let's say someone describes to you what they look like. Mm-hmm. They kind of paint a they kind of paint a broad stroke picture of what they look like. Yeah. And it's, you know, connected to something that you that you are attracted to. Yeah. And you're talking to them and you're feeling it. Can you fall in love with that? No, I don't think so. But I think I think you can only fall in love with somebody truly through experience. So you could put a picture, you could put Chanel's picture in front of my face and I'd be talking to her on the phone before I ever met her. And you could put the same exact woman and I wouldn't love her because we don't have that experience. We've haven't we had we had I can't I don't think so I So you fall got in a picture and you talking to her. Yeah, so I could see. I'm saying like I could even see how she looks. I can literally see how she looks and be talking to and her. You're saying that's the, that wouldn't be enough, and that still wouldn't be enough, even though I know how she looks, because I think that you can only love someone through experience. Mm-hmm. If you're saying that I, I love you, and I'm talking, I know talking is an experience, but I'm talking about the shared experience where we go, we going through different instances, ins and outs, mm-hmm. right? I know how your temperament is. You know how my temperament is. Yeah, um, and even. There's things you love about somebody from being around them in person. You know? Like, there's other things. I think you can love somebody without being around them Mm -hmm. initially. But, and I say that because I feel like no matter what, love grows, right? Uh Because Mm -hmm. somebody could instantly say, Oh man, if you ain't if you only been with your partner for five years, y'all don't love each other yet. And it's like, well, you guys been together for 50 years. But you can't negate my love because you've experienced a, di- a longer a, run, a longer run, or yeah, a right. different, or a different uh, mm-hmm. sector of that love. Mm-hmm. Um, so I do think that people can love, right? So I, I, I'm using this as a reference because there was a couple, Chelsea and Jimmy, mm-hmm. and Chelsea and Jimmy. They was they was rapping. They was kind of hitting it off. Jimmy and, smoked it, and and. Uh, Jimmy was talking to Chelsea and you know, she was he was like, Yo, is there any celebrity look like say like people say that you like look like? And she was like, Well, there is one. I don't think so, but people say this about me. And he's like, Oh who? She beats around the bush a little bit. She's like, I think it's like MGK's wife. And he's like, <laughs> Megan Fox. <laughs> Megan Florida, Fox. Florida, Florida. Yeah. That that tainted his. He's get, over there fist pumping. That tainted his judgment, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Even that, like right? fist pump. Come on, man. So I mean, but if you're talking to a, you talking to a chick and you know, so she says, "Man, I look just like Chanel Delisser." Because we she, don't need to say any other. But here's names. the thing, though. Here's the thing. We didn't listen. He didn't listen. Yeah, yeah. He didn't listen. He didn't listen. He she didn't said, listen. "People, people say say I look like Megan Fox." Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. She told you. You know, she. so check this out. She did tell you, but we also know that there is a natural space of humility that people are supposed to walk around with. Yes. So taking that into account, right? When somebody says, I don't think so, but people say, you like, oh, so she do look like that then. Mm. That's how you, that's just how you receive it. That's just you, the It's more believable than saying, I look like Megan Fox. Yes. Now she was just like, oh, I look just like Megan Fox. He was like, 
yeah, all right, I'll believe it when I see it. That's one yeah. of those. But mm -hmm. when she's like, yo, people say, but I just don't believe it. You're like, wow, she fine and she's humble. Okay, bet. She looks like Megan Fox. So that's how he took it, right? So that made him want to like stick around. That made him for sure. I feel like that made him make his decision. Yeah. I, that, I, I ultimately feel like that made him make his decision because he was vibing with the other sure shit was. Way, harder, yeah, yeah. way harder. Way yeah, harder. He was yeah, vibing yeah. with. Way harder. Yeah. He was vibing with Jess. Mm -hmm. yeah. Way They had way more chemistry. The thing that just turned him off was I... It's a kid. So check this out. It's a kid. She it's a had kid. a Which game was, plan. It's not right, but... She had a game plan, right? When she said this from the beginning, I didn't agree with it. They asked her, Nick, Nick Lachey and his wife asked, said, hey, are you going to tell, tell the people you're dating you have a kid up front or how are you going to do it? She's like, no, I'm going to let people get to know me first and then I'll tell them. I said, I think that's a bad idea. When I first see the show, I said, I think that's a bad idea. Because if you're telling me about your life. How do you leave out the most important thing? That's how I feel. So if somebody was like, oh, tell me about a date. Man, I wake up, first thing in the morning I do is grab my son. We go downstairs, we do this, this, and this. You know, and then I go to work and this. It's just, that's just a part of the, that's part of my ethos. It comes with me. It comes with me. Yeah. So for you to say, oh, nah, I'm not going to say anything. And then I'll let you know down the line. Also gives him the space to be like, yeah, we was vibing, but I don't rock with that. And the, I think the, 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 the cut is so much deeper in that space. Do you guys think she made the right decision by saying, I'm going to hold out on telling them? I think, I think she did because although I wish she would have been truthful with her true situation, you know, men going to judge. Men going to judge you. You know what I mean? And I could, I could see from a woman's perspective how she, she wants to like just... She wants to be judged based off of off of her um, and who she is today, not based off of the actions that she's had in the past. You know, so yeah, but that's not being judged though. That's just saying, okay, you got this kid. Okay, cool. I'm not, I'm not ready for that, but I'm not. There ain't no wrong with that. No, I'm not judging them as a person. Hey, everybody got kids. A lot of people got kids. You know, so I don't think it's judging. Well, but, it's not judging that she had the kid. It's judging how she had the kid. Or how she had the kid. It's judging how she had the kid. It's like she had a kid young, early. But if, if getting to know her, her story is like, you hear her story, you're like, I mean, you low key yeah. empathize. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Like, man, yeah. yo, she kind of, she. Yeah. She, she had it rough. Yeah. What would you think? You, yeah, she, had it, she had it rough. And, but I'm saying. But what, what is it the concern how she had a kid or the fact that she just has a kid? I think it was more of she just had a kid. She just got a kid. And I feel like that's what bothered Jimmy. Because the second she said that, changed his entire mind. Correct. I still think she should have played it the way she played it. I think she, I think she should have held off too. I, you think held she, off? Yeah. She, she should have came smart. in. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not saying that she needed to give any information about her kid. Yeah. I'm saying that you just talk about your life, and then as you guys are continue to talk more, then you could then you could give the information. But now she played the game. I need you to like me first. That it's going to and be, that's what I'm I, saying. I want, it to, I want it to be hard for you to be like to try to, to tell me no. Hey, and 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 we seen, we seen where that ended up, and and I, I say that I say I mean because I just don't see me saying like and because oh what you were saying as far as you know she didn't want to be judged for this and this is her past and you know those things I feel like. That is a piece of you. That is who you are. You talk about who you are. That's what you guys are doing. Yeah, you here. just don't want to do it on the first couple dates. It's like this information too, because part of part of that story for her particular situation, her story was like her sharing that is vulnerability. You know what I mean? Her sh talking about like the negative things that her parents ended up going through that put their family in, you know, in turmoil that probably led her to leaving the house early and having a kid early. Like those are things that people could judge you based off of. So man, it's just it's like so for example, right? I don't have no problem with Chelsea when she divulged the information about being married at one point in time later because that is not a part of her. That is something that she experienced just to give somebody more context to who she is and give more context to why I'm here. Give more context to my dating past, to my dating history. That's something that you can hold on to.
but something that no matter no matter if you it's tell me out. now or later, it, this is something that is, is this is here. Yeah, but what changes is your connection to her. If she comes out and tells it to you right away, you don't have no connections. It's easier for you to just be like, I'm out. I'm out. Without getting the chance to know who she is as a person. Yep. So you're right. trying to protect that. So she's she, trying to protect she, she's that. Saying, she's saying, yo, like, I know I have something of value to offer outside of my kid. All right? I know if people just try to get to know me, they're going to like me. So let me hold off until they mom my kid first. Mm-hmm. So that's how, I mean, that's kind of just like now, now the decision to, like, not deal with her becomes harder for you. I still, I understand the logic, right? Let's play this. Let's say, um, do, did you want to date somebody that had children? No. That's a, that you already made that before you met Jen, Jessica, right? Mm-hmm. Did I want to date somebody? Yeah, did you want to date somebody that had children? Nope. Okay, cool. So I feel like we're all in agreement there. Correct. So whether you tell me day one or day 21. It didn't matter. It, do, it don't matter. Yeah, it, it didn't. It, but, but you don't know that though going things, in. Things can change if you meet the right woman. I'm going to tell you right now. Hey, listen. I'm, well, if you, okay. If, I, if I'm speaking for myself, no. But I know <laughs> I know things can change. Hey, hey. But I'm speaking for somebody else right now. Things can change when we meet the right woman. There's a lot of guys who probably say, I would never date a woman with kids than meet a woman I'm with sure. kids. I'm sure. They're like, you know what, man? You know what? Hey, I, I think I'll make it work. I think I'm, I'm going to see what happens. And then that happens. And, you know, that's just, that happens. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I completely understand the logic behind it. I completely understand the logic behind it. And I'm thinking about it as an experiment. We're going to sit here and we're going to talk anywhere from six to 18 hours anyway, before we just say, I'm good on you. Mm -hmm. We talking anyway. Yeah, yeah. So it's not where it's speed dating and you pull up to the chair and you'd be like, hey, so I have a 10 year old daughter. I do this. I do this. I do this. Nah, that's not what I'm talking about. We talking... We about to sit here and talk for six hours. Yeah. You mean to tell me we talked for six hours and you didn't tell me you had a daughter? I almost feel some type of way about that. We talked for six hours and that never came up? Isn't that something that you would ask though? Do you have children? I would ask that. Wouldn't you ask that? Are you trying to get to know, know somebody? In that particular situation, probably not. No. Probably not because I, I feel like everybody came here with nothing. <laughs> no. I, that's that's the thought. I'm, I'm under the right. assumption that everybody came here with nothing. And I trying think to she might have been the something. first person that ever had a kid on me the too. show too. Me too. Oh really? Okay. So to me, that might have. Okay. That's a pre-screening. Okay. So you would have asked that question. No, 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 yeah, no. I wouldn't have asked. I feel like pre six, by six, the production. Facts. Facts. Okay. In six hours, are you asking how old she is? Yeah. You're asking her age. Yeah. You're asking where they from. Yeah. Now, if six hours, she say, "Oh, I'm 29, I'm 30, I'm 30, whatever." You're not gonna next. Immediately go to okay, like you kind of dirty, like you got. You, got you know what's so crazy? That's not I'm thinking about this right now. I don't think I not, not not in not for this show. I don't, for six hours or not for this show, bro. Can you guys honestly say when you guys you, have ever you asked anybody? Do you have children? Face to face, no. On the, like a date, someone a, that you're dating, yeah. Some, somebody that you're dating, no, nah, nah, bro. I've never, I've never bro, asked because it, I've never asked you, to do. I'm not trying to be funny. When have bro? you ever had That's six not hours? Your job to, to ask if you got kids. Yo, we're here. It's, her, it's their job to tell. Yes. Listen, listen, we're here. This is an expedited process. We're trying to get as much information in this six hours or whatever. Like in real life, we got time. I'm gonna figure it out. We got time, but in six hours. I can't see your face. Everything is crunched. Now nah, I'm asking. What you gonna do? What you gonna do to me? You can't see me. What you gonna ask her? I'm asking. You gonna ask her about our family health history too? I'm asking kids. Damn. I'm asking. So is that another hard truth about dating? Somebody gonna have kids? Somebody gonna have kids? That could be. A lot of people got kids out here. I think a harsh truth about dating is. A lot of people with kids are at a disadvantage when it comes to dating. I like Ooh, that. That's a hard truth. I like that. I that's a harsh truth. I like that. You know, and I, and just being being a family man, seeing how fast just a, a single person will move. Oh man, I'm not waiting for somebody to be able to schedule a night out. Mm-hmm. I need to be able to be spontaneous when we dating. So uh, this is, it's a disadvantage for both parties. It's a dis yeah. For you and the, the guy, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Men and women, Both it's a y'all. disadvantage. Yeah. For the person with the kid and without the kid, it's a disadvantage. Because you just said like, yo, I got a kid, you single, I'm not about to wait on you. No. Yeah. So 
you know, the single person could move on much easier than the person yeah. in a relationship or the person with the child. Right. The person that doesn't have a kid can move on way easier. So I think that's a harsh truth. Yeah. Harsh reality of dating. You know what's another harsh truth? A harsh truth is that the prettier a woman is, mm. the more likely she'll have a bad attitude. <laughs> is that the harsh truth? The richer a guy is, the less likely he'll be faithful. Ooh. That's a hard truth. That's harsh truth right there. If we don't like to hear it. Wow. Them is two hard cold truths. And those are two people that the majority of people are after. The prettier woman is. The prettier woman and the rich man. Yeah. The prettier woman is, the, the more likely she is to have a bad attitude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying, but those two people that you were describing is the people that want, mm -hmm. want people want they the pick most. First. They, they pick, pick first. They pick first. They pick first and get picked first. Those are hard truths. That's another harsh truth. That's, you gave us two harsh truths in one. Yeah, those are hard truths. They get picked first. What, what are you basing the attitude off with pretty women? What am I basing that off? I'm saying that. And the level of faithfulness with uh, rich men. What are you basing both of those off of? Um... Okay, when I say bad attitude, I'm saying that you are going to get a woman who is um, less considerate, okay, who is less willing to compromise, less patient, things that add to having a bad attitude, um, more entitled. Mm -hmm. Ding, 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 ding. All right. Let me just name a few. And in terms of being a rich man, um, you're gonna get men who don't really feel the need. You're gonna feel you're gonna get men who understand the how he can impact people's lives and not really have the need to have good behavior because he can get what he wants. He's more likely to exercise that power how he wants. He's more likely to um attribute his infidelity or or find parallels between his infidelity and his success i'm i'm successful because it's how i act mm. i'm rich because this is my mindset and i understand that like i'm the top dog in the world i'm the most sought out, sought after person in the world cuz i can change your life so i really don't have any need to I can pretend to be faithful, but like I know nothing's really gonna happen to me. So I'm gonna play with fire more. That's a hard truth. What you giggling about? What you man? Got? I'm just trying to picture what these comments are gonna say after. <laughs> I'm saying though, know, this 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 is a hard truth, right? Nah, this no no this, this is a very hard yeah, truth. And, we, hard and truth. we all know this, but we desire it anyway. Yeah. We all know it. We all know like, yeah, I know that. The, the prettier a woman is, the, she probably got a worse attitude than this girl. That is like the the ten got, got a, the ten is more likely to have a worse attitude than the seven. Yep. So I'm, I'm but ask I'm you, but I'm gonna still go, go for the ten. We I'm know gonna ask this. you. So like, with that being said, more men are putting up with the attitude, and more women are putting up with cheating. The infidelity part? Absolutely. Why? Because no one wants to feel like they're settling. Mm. Right? So if you choose so, the latter, now you feel like you're settling. On. But we'll settle for something, though. You know what I'm saying? And we'll settle for the infidelity. We'll settle for the bad attitude. You know what I'm saying? We'll settle for the bad attitude, but we won't settle for the seven. But we'll take the bad attitude, though. We won't settle for the seven. But we'll take the bad attitude because, because, because the, the, the ah. looks, the looks hold more currency, social currency, social currency. All right, All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll the, settle. We'll the settle. Money the money more the social shit, currency impact, whatever. Right. Yeah. Mm. Fuck. Fuck the faithfulness. All right. We can say, I, huh? We can hide that. You can hide I can't that. hide the looks, and I can't hide you being broke. Nah. So, mm. so these are these are hard truths. You know what I mean? That's why we all say like there's no good people in the world. There's no good partners. Boy, they're good people. We just we just overlooking them because we don't want to feel like we settling. 
So where's that sweet spot at then, man? Like you gotta get fortunate. Mm. You got you gotta get fortunate, and you gotta be the type of person you want to attract f- f- to, to be to have a higher chance of being fortunate. But you gotta get fortunate though. Like fortunate, like like chosen to be on the show. Fortunate. <laughs> <laughs> like what? I I think uh, where's a sweet spot is like how do we find a sweet spot? You mean? I think that it's very hard to find a sweet spot because most people aren't operating are embodying the type of person that they want to be with. So reflecting, at, yeah, you attract, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't be I can't be the man. I mean, I can, but I can't be the man that is. I'm bypassing all the good women and only going out the looks and then expect women to bypass my money to go out to look at me as a good man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. A woman going to do me the same way I do her. Mm-hmm. Right? So if you're operating in a space where it's like, you know what? Like I'm looking for a good person first. So I will compromise on things that aren't as important. Looks are important, but not as important as integrity, as patience, as you know, not being full of yourself. How, then, then you could, then you're going to be more likely to find a woman who's going to be like, "Yo, money's important. I'm looking for a man who's successful, but you don't have to be uber successful." You know, you can. I, I still want you to be a good man. I still want. You, I still want to vet you out and see if you have characteristics of a faithful man, mm-hmm. of a leader, of a person who has vision and protecting and, and smart, intelligent things like that. Where it's just not like money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And I think that. Yeah, you gotta be fortunate for that. I think another harsh truth of, of dating, you know, outside of the show, is that looks actually do matter. <laughs> yeah, yes, that's a harsh truth. That, that's a harsh truth, bro. When you think that's about a harsh truth. when you dating people, like you, you're not dating somebody just for the person that they are. That's gonna be part of it, but that's never gonna attract you to the person or bring you to the person to even want to start dating. So that's a harsh truth for real. Yeah. So I, you, you always got to be, I, I def- always got to pre- present your best self. I definitely, I think that's, that is a harsh truth. My question, just a counter question to it. When is focusing on the physical attributes too much? Like for example, what Duke said, certain men are willing to put up with, because a woman looks a certain way. When is focusing on just that physical just too much? When has that gone too far? When you're sacrificing other things, that's important. That's it. you sacrificing, like, it's too far when you're bypassing how um, how nurturing a woman is because she looks good. Mm. When you want somebody who's nurturing. Mm. You know? Like, do you know, do you know, do you know that she's nurturing? Oh, you don't know. You haven't even you haven't even asked. I don't care. She's fine, bro. That's that's just too much then. Mm. But I mean, yeah. can she take care of the house? Uh, She's fine, bro. Have you seen her? Fine, bro. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? So that question you asked me, I don't care how much money I got, bro. My my woman still has to be a certain person. Like, that's what I was saying. Yep. It's got to be a certain person, like, yep. no matter what. Right. It's just I feel like everybody should require their person to be a certain person. Right. You don't just get to be whoever you want, however you want, because you're beautiful or because you got nah, money. Uh uh-uh. uh. You get uh, held you get held accountable to being, you know, a certain person. Mm-hmm. And I feel like your partner should always just be checking you in the dark in certain yep. things that you yep. do, certain things that you say and the way you move and not just, you know, you look good. Let's lay. That's good enough for me. And I feel like there's so many relationships that's you look good, let's lay. That's why I love the concept of love is blind because the concept is to debunk all of that. For sure. Concept is to look, man, I wanna get to I wanna get to know this girl for who she is and everything about her and fall in love with that. And then we could kind of put the look second. It's kind of the same same premise, um, but a, a little bit arranged marriages are an interesting thought. Right. Arranged yeah. marriages are interesting because it's like I understand the person's background and kind of what they stand for, but I don't know them yet. But we're gonna make it work. Mm-hmm. And they make it work. I think the premise behind Love is Blind Love is Blind is we rocked in the pods and now we're gonna make it work outside. No matter what we look like, no matter no yeah, matter yeah, anything yeah. else, we're gonna right. make it work. All right. 
And, you know, I feel like, which goes overlooked a lot, at the end of the day, when you are in the dating space and then you move forward to somebody being your girlfriend and you guys get in that argument and you guys get in that first dis- dis- disagreement, you you choose to yourself, am I going to make this work? Mm-hmm. Or am I going to you know, start over again? And I think the thing is you just you just make it work. Like whatever you choose, like you choose and you just make it work. I think the concept is super dope, right? I don't know if it's um, the the efficiency of it is going to be high, but I think the concept yeah, is, yeah. is really, really dope. I think looks do matter somewhere, but I think the whole point of the experiment is to showcase that looks aren't everything. I th- Right. I agree. I agree. I think the concept is good, but I feel like it's a little flawed too, though, mm-hmm. because when you're falling in love with a person like totally you're also falling in love with their family and everything else that comes with them Mm -hmm. and you miss that entire aspect Mm -hmm. in the pods Mm -hmm. until they actually reach out and then they only have a short period of time to kind of mix and mingle like it seemed like people don't even get to know like get to remember everybody's name before they're having to say i do or i don't yeah you know so um, I think the concept is cool. I, I I think it needs to be a little bit more flushed out to actually see successful successful marriages come out of the show. Because right now, I just feel like it's just left between these two people in the pods and there's so much more. We all know there's more than being in a relationship with just one person. It's yeah. like, you know, I got to be able to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You could be anybody if y'all on the island. You, you could be you, with anybody. You feel what I'm saying? Right? You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. There, there's, there's a person that you have to show up for, for her family, for her parents, her supporting cast, her friends. All of those things matter. You have to establish relationship with all of those people. Yeah. So to your point about them not meeting people, I feel like the experiment, they try to simulate it. It's a little rushed, but they try to simulate it from you know, the proposal, then they get to go on vacation with the other couple. So now, okay, cool. We kind of broadened our world a little bit, Mm -hmm. you know, and then from there they get to come home and, you know, they live together for a little bit. Right. And then from there you get to meet the other people that are around, which kind of give you the distractions that we would have in our lives Mm -hmm. and see where you go from there. And then from there you meet each other's families. So they, they, they kind of flush out like, the whole process they 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 do one thing that i was paying attention to was people still so most of those people on the show they say they on the show because they struggle dating dating is an issue for them Mm -hmm. the people who i've met haven't been good for me so i want to be in an environment where people can be good for me so i want to showcase my best self i will see Chelsea and Jimmy, when they would talk, I was I was actually really disappointed in her, the way her communication skills or lack thereof. I felt like every time she spoke, and I would like to get some background on her if I really just wanted to dive in and understand why she played the victim part every single time. Every single time they talked, she cried. Every single time. Every time they had a disagreement or something that she didn't like, she cried. She also didn't pinpoint what she was talking about a lot of times. So, for example, we actually had an episode on this. Jimmy has an opposite sex best friend. Mm-hmm. That he slept with. We don't have an episode on this. Not that he slept with. I mean, not, 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 we don't have an episode of sleeping with your opposite sex. Yeah. But he slept with his friend. She continued to say, I didn't marry somebody who likes to go out and party. And he's confused. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I went out for one hour. What are you talking about? Yeah, but I didn't marry somebody like that. I went out for one hour and I came home. What are you talking about? Well, you <laughs> yeah. were out. Yeah, I was. I'm telling you that. You're talking about the location? Yeah, she had a location? No, that's a different couple. Oh, okay. Different couple. That guy's clown. Crazy. Clown. Clown. Right? Jimmy. Clown. Went, so the, the background of the story is Jimmy went to a bar and it was one of his female friend's birthdays. Mm-hmm. The woman who he slept with, that was his female friend, was there as well, mm-hmm. right? He holds his friends in high regards. Instead of her talking about vulnerability and and putting it all on the table, instead of her saying like, hey, you know, your female friend actually makes me really uncomfortable. The argument was centered around, I don't like, I don't like for my man to go out 
and party. He said, I wasn't even partying. and I had a drink and I went to go support my friend for his for her birthday. So what I'm hearing is, what is she really upset about? There's something else here. Did you catch that argument? Mm -hmm. So as they're talking, she's talking in circles, and by the time they get to it, he's defending a whole nother point. Mm -hmm. She's pushing this point now. Now she's exposed that they've had he's had sex with his friend on national TV and they talked about that in private. So now he's upset about that. Mm. She's pretty much saying, Why are you upset about this? And it just made me think, like, bro, you ever realize this is how the majority of arguments actually roll. The majority of arguments are this is the point that you are trying to say, but this is what you're actually saying. Mm -hmm. So now I'm arguing this point. I'm arguing and this point that you said. But you're trying to say something totally different. And to you, you look like it looks like I'm defending myself and not catering to your feelings at all. But you you really does you don't want to be honest and uh, forthcoming because you don't want to look stupid. Yes. Sometimes when you say things, it sounds stupid. Yes. So you try to say something else. So that leads me to this point. One of the really, really harsh realities of dating and the harsh truths of dating is there is no vulnerability. In dating. There's no vulnerability in dating. Uh -huh. And when people are getting to know each other, it's like, let me put this part of myself over here and I'm gonna I'm gonna spoon food I'm gonna spoon feed you pieces of me. And sometimes you spoon feeding them, they not they don't understand what you, the context you're giving them because you know all the context. They don't. So as she's talking, I'm like, what is she trying to get to? It has to be something else here. And eventually all of that stuff comes out and he's still on this other point of like, mm -hmm. so you mean to tell me you don't think I love you because I went out to go have a drink with my friend for their birthday? That's yeah. where he ended up at. Uh, at. At that point though, at that point in their conversation, I felt like he was using, he, he was running. He, he was he not- He wanted her to say it. Huh? He wanted her to say it, right? He didn't want to say it. Yeah, he knew by then. He didn't want to say it. He didn't want to stand on business and be like, hey, you know what? This shit not gonna work between you and I because he didn't want to express whatever the real reason was. He kept leaning on that particular situation. I feel like that was a cop out. I feel like he should have mm. been honest and forthcoming with exactly how he felt about the girl because we all know exactly how he felt about her when she walked out of the goddamn thing. Mm. When they walked out, and they first saw each other. Hey, He's like, oh, you kind of lied to me. <laughs> Instantly, instantly, you could tell his body language. You could tell how he was acting around her. Everything changed. So, man, I'm going to be honest, man. You you see Jimmy's big ass parents. And uh, he understands love from a space of making just a decision. Mm -hmm. He said, you know what? This is a decision I made. I'm living with it. And I'm going to live with it. Whether it makes me happy or not. I feel like that's a that's a place that too many men get caught in of I'm just going to be here cuz I made the decision cuz I made the decision ah I'm just going to be here so there there there's a there's a there's a lot in that right cuz I think there is power in a decision because you're not going to want and you're not going to want to do every single day for your partner but that decision is going to be what helps push you through so Dude, I feel like you kind of resonated with that when you just, man, I, I made a decision. I got to stand on it, right? I said stand on business. I feel like Jimmy was standing on business on the decision that he made. I don't feel like he wanted to go back and forth. He said, I'm here for love. Cool. I said yes to this person. I asked this person to marry me and I'm here now. I think his so then parents- So why, why back out then? It, it, got, it got heavy. It got heavier. It got heavier than Chelsea, bro. It got heavy. It got really heavy. Okay. Do you think you could fall in love with somebody and then um do you think I don't want to say fall in love because I don't believe in that. But do you think that you can become attracted to the conversation? Do you become attracted to somebody based on a conversation that you've had with them and then desire to see them? Yes. yes. And then see them. And not like them. And not like them. Yes. 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 Mm. I, even even seeing them before, just like I feel like that's that's happened. Um, bro, you've experienced that. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Of yeah. seeing somebody, y'all get together, you be like, oh no, this not gonna work. Oh no, this ain't it. No, this not it. I, like it. we was vibing tough too. Yeah, the, rocking I, hard. Like, when I go back and look at the text messages, I'm actually confused that we still not rocking because it's heavy in, in the text messages. You was vibing so heavy, you showing your homeboys, bro. She don't look like this though. <laughs> yep. Yeah. That's a problem though because you got something to compare it to. You know what I mean? You got you got you got a highlight reel to compare it to. If you don't have nothing to go off, you, you still yeah, you still yeah. got a ba- you still got a basic level of attraction though. You know who you was attracted to, bro, when you was in elementary school. Yeah, and okay. she don't and she don't fall in line with that. Yeah, and she just doesn't fall in line with that. You didn't create your attraction. And in that particular and, situation, yeah. do you try? I think I try. You try. I think I think I try. I feel like the men that we are in here. I feel like you saying no, but I feel you, like you I'm, will try. I'm telling you right now. Listen, I feel like you I'm know what's you right gonna now. happen, but you you will at least try. I'm telling you right now. If I'm not attracted, it's you ain't not trying. Gonna... Hey, hey, okay, okay. You I'm, know what? I'm, I'm wasting. Know what? I'm wasting our time. You know what? You know what? I, I agree with that. I agree with that because I said that earlier. We don't. We can't learn to become attracted to people. Mm-hmm. You gotta be attracted mm-hmm. to us. We can't, it's gonna be lit. Like we can't learn. And and it's gonna show. So you just you just gonna ways. discredit all that conversation, all that building that yeah. y'all had. Yeah, it's just done. Yeah, you like not even gonna go go out. Nah, because it's gonna show up in the smallest way. That's what I said, yo. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna so show I, up in a small way. It's like, oh, my friends are going out. Oh, I ain't taking her. And okay. <laughs> no, for real, because bro, no, that's you gotta, real. You gotta be that's proud. real. You gotta be proud of your. You partner. want a trophy. And and I don't necessarily want to say a, a trophy in just the looks. Mm-hmm. Like I want to be proud of my partner. And if I am, if that's 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 a very very big area. Your presentation to the world. That's a space that I'm not proud of. It's gonna be hard for me to 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 give you the energy as if I am. It will be very very difficult. So even just small things around the house, bro. Your level of respect will change. It's, it, it, all of those things matter, bro. If somebody doesn't fall within your attraction bucket, I'm not saying a general attract your attraction bucket. If somebody mm-hmm. doesn't fall in there, it's not gonna work. Yeah. yeah, it's not. It's not. I'm not. I'm not even gonna try. Harsh truth. It would be a waste of our time mm-hmm. if I tried. So no, nah, I I absolutely have to be attracted to our partner. Now, will I go as far as going through an experiment? behind a screen and asking somebody like, hey, yo, what you look like? I got a certain requirement. I wouldn't do that. Uh-huh. If I signed up for something, I would try to go through the experiment to the best of my ability. Mm-hmm. Now, I wouldn't I wouldn't say what I needed to, to, to see, but I, I know there's a certain attraction bucket that I have. I think I actually can sink my attraction bucket to somebody's personality too, though. I think it'll be hard for me to be rapping and the person be whack and I see him and I'll be like, nah, I think I kind of think for me it goes it goes a little hand in hand. So you would know. I, yeah, you, you know through know. somebody's experiences, how they get treated by other people, and not trying to be funny, how they look. You could talk to somebody enough and they'll tell you certain experiences, certain things that they've done, and you'd be like, oh, you're on the better looking side of things. <laughs> you know that. Yeah. You know that. That's so now, a fact. Some as small as like, yeah, you know, so one night me and my girls went out to the club and we were waiting in line and it's like, okay, I know where you're at. Oh, you were waiting in line. I know where you're at. Okay, it's, okay. It's just, it's just. Okay, like, okay. Or, or if I'm a guy, if you're talking to a guy, he keeps, man, I kept getting st- stood up. Yep. Uh, okay, okay, you're not you as know? attractive. So I'm happy okay, that okay. I okay. met you. It's like, uh, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. I see what's going on. You know, or, you know, if you're a guy and you're talking to a woman and, you know, you're just like. Yeah, so, you know, and she knows your age, and you're like, yeah, you know, my roommate, something that he does is, oh, she's going to be like, this okay. 21. Okay, I see what's going on. He's 33. He has a roommate. Yep. Okay, so he's not going to be able to support me at all. Mm. Or it's like, yo, like, you know, it's like, I got to I gotta get back in shape, or I haven't been in the gym in a long time. Like, them, like that type of stuff, give it away. There's, there's things, there's, yeah. there's social cues and yeah. things that people could say that you're like, okay. I see, I see where you stand on, sure. on on within the spectrum. Shorty, we talking about that dated Jimmy. What's her name? Chelsea. Chelsea. What did she give away? She had a great personality. That's what I'm saying. She had a great personality. She never said anything that made me believe like, oh, she's not attractive. So she said this though. 
Oh, what's a good day for you? Oh, man, I love to come home and have a nice cold Coors Light. She oh, did yeah. say that. Okay, I see who we dealing with here. Oh, my woman got a beer belly. That okay. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh, okay. So, so okay. I'm listening for that, and I'm now like, listen. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, I'm, I've never met a woman like that. Hold on. Like, not no well, woman. Sure, you said she want to come home and drink a beer. I don't even drink beer. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> and also, she's a flight attendant as well. So you know, it's it's already difficult for you to have a consistent gym schedule. Uh, mm-hmm. You got to pay attention to these things. And what I'm saying is, when you have done so much dating, you know how to listen. Yeah. Like that's that's something harsh. You're an active listener. A, a, a harsh, a harsh, a harsh truth in dating is people who don't listen end up with people who they don't want. Oof. I listen. Oh. So walking through, okay, you were a flight attendant, you don't get a good consistent gym schedule, you drink Coors Lights when you get home, okay, I can imagine what that looks like. I can imagine what it looks like. I can imagine what that looks like. Yep. You know? I, but but I guess I guess if you're not someone who has, like you're speaking from someone who has an active lifestyle, right? If you're someone like Jimmy, you don't, you don't hear that. He didn't hear none of that. Mm-hmm. He didn't hear none of that, bro. He yeah. heard Megan Fox. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Megan Fox, bro, is drinking Coors Lights when she get off set, though. Like, I just, I just don't think that's just that's what she's on. Yeah, me either. You know, but but I, I say that to say I know we we joking around and we being silly, but like it's it's important to listen. It's important to listen. You can find out. You could find out everything you want to know about somebody just by listening to them talk. No, nah, that's real, Jalon. That's a bar. Everything, bro. That's a bar. Like, that's a bar. You even you even get to learn somebody's spirit by listening to them talk. Like, mm-hmm. oh, you kind of a mean person. Mm. Is that something I could deal with? Is it not something I could deal with? Oh, okay, you know, and you learn. You hear how somebody is with their family just by listening to them talk. How somebody is with their mother. Women listen to how men talk about their mother. Listen to those things. Like I listen to pay attention to the relationship women have with their father and their mother. You could you could hear things, bro. And I feel like in dating, people are so infatuated with just the experience of dating. It's like for me, I look at the goal is for me to eventually be with this person. That's mm-hmm. what the goal is. So I'm gonna listen like that. Yeah. I just don't think a lot of those people listen on the show. Now, it was one very successful couple. I feel like they listened to each other all day. Yeah. They was very successful. She was in the pods and she knew, hey man, he's gonna, he's it's, when it comes to sex, like he's he's very, very scared to have children. So, you know, we gotta figure that aspect out. That was before they even got together. It's gonna sound a little toxic, but they were so good. I fast forwarded their parts. Why do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it was so boring. It was so boring. But Duke said that monogamy <sighs> is monotonous. Hey, it is. No, this show is for entertainment, and y'all not giving yeah. it to me. Y'all liked each other off the rip. Y'all knew what y'all wanted. Y'all got along. When you guys, did, I didn't even see if they said I do. I knew I, they said that I, I do. Knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I ain't gotta watch that. I don't know. I have to watch that. Yeah, man. But. uh if any one of you guys want to come on the show, man, feel more than free to uh, come in. Actually, you guys will have a platform to speak on where you stand mm. um, on the entire experiment, but also your personal experience. So we love we we love love is blind. We love love over here. <laughs> we love love. We love love. We love love. Nice and neat. Love is blind. Coming soon. Well, hold up. <laughs> nah. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Real hot take. Yes or no? Is love blind? No. No. No, no, no. No. No, okay. love is not blind. No. No, love ain't blind. No. Me, it ain't. Love is. Is love conditional? Love is conditional. Mm-hmm. To me, it is. I think everybody got their own set of conditions. Okay. Yes. yes. Love is conditional. Yes. Not necessarily conditional off of looks, but right. everybody some, has their love, own set of conditions. Love is only unconditional with. I think women and kids. Yeah, with Edison. we we'll talk off camera. <laughs> okay. And I love my son. All right, so thank you for tapping in uh, and watching today's episode. 
Uh, be sure to make sure you are subscribed to us on all social platforms, all streaming platforms. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you thought about the episode. And we'll see you in the next episode. I'm Duke. I'm Omar. I'm Jalan. And this is another episode of Nice and Neat. And that's that on that. I'll be the one to take the risk to go and get them bands. I'll be the one to never sit and go and make a plan. Knowing my mother getting old and I don't got no time. Gotta keep a couple for the road or else get left behind. Yeah. To the hundreds, pledge allegiance, I stand. I'm going for a